Hello N4H and H here. Just a super quick video for those of you who haven't watched some of the videos in the past uh, where I talk about a mu tuner, which is a variable pre selector. Um, just happened to tune in 80 meters here, and there's a good bit of noise. Of course, I have an amp turned on, and you'd never really want to run a preamp on 80 meters, or even 40, and I usually don't even run one on 20, but. I um, want to show you, you know, IPO knocks it way down. But I'm going to bring that noise back up just for a moment here so you can see this. Look at the scope there, the spectrum scope. And I'm going to engage the pre-selector, the, the, the mu tuner. Now, that's an option for this particular radio. The FTDX 101D uh, and MP has it uh, built in. Um, this one has one built in, but, but you can buy an optional a pre-selector called a mu tuner that's external that puts that on steroids. And let me show you what it does. You see all that noise across the 80 meter band there? What's this? It narrows the receiver to even more narrow than what a bandpass filter does. You know, your radios have bandpass filters, which when you go to the 80 meter band, it means uh, you've got a filter in the front end of the receiver that is going to pass 3.5 to 4 megahertz. Uh, through to the rest of the receiver uh, well for, for mixing but with the mu tuner which is just you know Yesu's uh, marketing term for a variable pre-selector when you engage that you're narrowing it even more and when I say narrowing it you're narrowing the front end of your receiver even more narrow than the width of the band now the mu tuner is adjustable and so you, you can see on the graph as I move it, I'm, I'm deciding where within the band I want most of my sensitivity. So the advantage for this, of course, is to block unwanted signals. So, um, yeah, I know I've shot more detailed videos about this in the past, but I, I was looking at the uh, spectrum scope there and just happened to notice the amount of noise I was getting when I turned the preamp on and what a stark difference it makes when I enable the mute tuner. So I'm going to turn it off again and then back on. So you just think in a crowded band situation all those signals down in there get attenuated and then you can you can you know whatever frequency you're listening to you can adjust the mute tuner to favor that frequency. Now, now I've shown in other videos how to use the mute tuner for other things like combating noise and QR Mary but you know, I just wanted you to see that real quick uh, with the uh, uh, spectrum scope up there uh, showing the, um, you know, all the noise along the band there. All right. Hey, I hope someone found the tip helpful and informative. And um, I'll just say a quick 73 from N4HNH.